Good morning and welcome to the video for Wednesday, May the 13th. This is going to be our homework video for fourth grade for the lesson that we started on Tuesday. So let's really quickly go through the answers and I'll talk to you about a couple things along the way. So uh, number one, we would take our number of weeks times seven to get uh, 35. 35 plus three gives us 38. Number three, 60 seconds in a minute times four gives us 240. 240 plus, two, uh, plus 45 gives us 285. Um, again, 60 minutes in an hour uh, times four is gonna give us 240. 240 plus 30 is gonna give us 270. So we're kind of using the same idea for both of these. We're just going from hours to minutes versus minutes to seconds. Uh, for number five, we can do uh, three tons is equal to 6,000 pounds. 6,000 plus 600 gives us 6,600. For number six, um, there are four quarts in a gallon, so we don't need to worry about regrouping and adding another gallon here. So we're gonna have 15 gallons and two quarts. Uh, for number seven, we have 16 ounces in a pound. Uh, we start with a smaller number on the top, so we need to take away a pound here uh, and change that to 16 ounces. And when we add that to the five that we start with, we get 21. So that's gonna give us four pounds, 11 ounces when we subtract. Uh, for number eight, we're going to have 12 hours and 15 minutes. We don't have to worry about um, regrouping to an hour uh, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. <clears throat> for number nine, this is one um, I wrote out the work for this, and I'm going to tell you I never do it this way. So um, the way that I normally do this is using mental math. And so I will count up. I know I'm subtracting this time, three hours and 15 minutes, from my smaller time, two hours and 15 minutes, I will always count up to the next hour and then add the number of minutes. So the way I would normally do this would be I'm 20 minutes away from the next hour. So that would be 20 minutes plus the 15 minutes past the hour gives me 35 minutes. That's the way I would do it. Um, this is the way that you could do it using the conversion. So whichever way is more comfortable for you and you can do it accurately, go ahead and do that. Uh, for number four, um, this one I would recommend uh, doing the same thing if you're comfortable with it. Um, so I could know that I have 12 inches and a foot. I can count backward um, to get to an even number of feet uh, by three inches, count backward two more inches to get to four feet, 10 inches. Or you could do uh, the written out subtraction problem. Uh, but I would also use mental math. Um, if you're comfortable enough with the math facts to do that, then by all means, as long as you can do it correctly. Uh, so for number 11, I said that I bought a uh, 15 pounds worth of burgers. Um, me and my guest ate eight pounds and 12 ounces uh, at a barbecue, how much is left over. And so um, I chose this because it would be easier. So I have 16 ounces and a pound. So I take away a pound here, send 16 ounces over here and do my subtraction. Uh, number one on the back, this one I would not recommend trying to do um, using mental math, um, unless you are just extremely comfortable with it. I'm much more comfortable doing feet and inches because I do that more frequently than I do um, pounds and ounces. Um, so understand that I have, um, if I take this away, I have to send 16 ounces over here. So I'm actually starting with 21 minus 11 uh, for this, not 11 minus five or anything like that. Um, so that, that changes what I would do for that. So we end up with 10 ounces there. Uh, for this one, we have uh, two weeks times seven to get 14 days, 14 plus five gives us 19. Uh, for number three, here are the two different ways that you can do that, depending on which number you start with. I normally recommend that you start with the number that comes first in the problem, but there will be times that they want you to actually start with the other one. So just if they do, if they give you the option, um, I think it's safer to just go ahead and do this, but both of those answers would be acceptable. For number four, we're only worrying about classifying it by the size of the angles. Um, I believe at some point in time, I think next year, you will also have to be able to classify them uh, by the lengths of their sides. And so there would be an additional word that goes out with this. Um, because all three of these sides would be of different lengths uh, to have a right angle. Uh, number five, uh, we are going to have 52 times three, which we had uh, in the beginning of the lesson uh, video. So that's going to give us 156, and that's in weeks. And our last one, again, I'm just using mental math. So I count backward my 20 minutes first. Um, 
and then that's going to leave me with 10:30 a.m. Count backward an hour. That gives me 9:30 a.m. You could also represent that uh, doing a written problem. So uh, those are the problems for today. If you have any questions, please feel free uh, to reach out to me on Google Classroom or ask your uh, classroom teacher if you're finding uh, these videos through uh, YouTube or Google search. Um, so the next new lesson will not be today. It'll be tomorrow and we will be starting our new chapter. So I believe that we are going to start with the very first lesson of that chapter. Yeah, so 13.1 will be the lesson for Thursday, 13.2 for Friday. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.